it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video back on the throwback to FS13 series on Modern American Farming Map version 2. So as you can see here, I got course play running the 1206 in the Bombford Cultivator. Uh, just cultivating under the south half of field 9 here. Oh shoot, I think, oh man, I gotta do some renaming here. Um, but we finished combining that section. Uh, we got like 155,000 liters of corn. Uh, a little more, I guess, because of the trailer. But uh, we got quite a bit of corn off of there. So now we're ready to start this section. Uh, first, I need to do some moving here. F10. So we need to hop in this guy and click save. F10 south. Bomford. There we go. So now we can delete the field 9 one. Move this to field 10. And we need to make one for field 11. There we go. Now we're all set. Okay. <laughs> Let's get uh, back into the harvest. See, I really, I've just been sitting here playing and uh, playing since yesterday's video, uh, since I finished recording it, and uh, I've just been sitting here combining. <clears throat> I did have auto combine uh, working a little bit for me on the end of the uh, south half here, because I wanted to get the uh, get the 1206 set up and all that good stuff. So. Uh, I was working on that while Auto Combine finished the field for me. Too far over now. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why I can't get. I still haven't figured out uh, why the GPS does not want to work on the Combine. Had it working just fine uh, on the 1206 there. So I don't know what the deal is. It must. Just must not like the combine, I guess. So we'll uh, get this field opened up here. See, so yeah, on this episode, we'll just work on this half of the cornfield, and in the next episode, we will do. We'll finish off that last little bit. Uh, that'll, you know, I'll leave like a couple, few passes left on this field here, and then, um, and then, uh, and then in tomorrow's video we can <clears throat> finish off the corn and then get started on the wheat or the soybeans, whichever I decide to start on. One of the two crops, that's all I know. So really it's about hour and a half or so later. Um, the video is still uploading. Uh, let me look at that actually. Alright, it's getting close. Hopefully it's up on time. I don't know why, but it, my internet's been acting so stupid the past few days. In fact, my internet's been acting stupid for a long time, but... Yeah, it's just acting extra stupid today. I think I'd be better off just sitting here in third person <laughs> doing this. Jesus sucks. So the uh, 1206 is running about 15 miles an hour. So 
he's getting it done over there <clears throat> may not be the most realistic speed but I was actually kind of worried that that tractor would not even run that uh, that bomb for cultivator but it handles it just fine so that's good as you can see he's just cruising over there oh yeah he's rocking away uh oh we missed some there what's the deal there let's bring this up here and see what the deal is here There we go. Not sure what his deal was there. Anyhow, continue on, buddy. So he's going to be here for a little while. Getting that done. So that'll keep him busy. Oh, we're just about full again. I take double screenshot now, I gotta get used to that. <clears throat> Cause I like I would like to upload some screenshots to my Steam. Uh, if, if you have Steam and would like to add me, I am craft underscore farms on there. We got 13609 in the trailer here. So let's just see. So 163301. 163301. Started with. With what? With what? With what? Started with 8249. So minus 8249. So we have 100. We've put 155,000 liters into storage. So if we add the 13609 to that, 13609. So we've combined a total of 168,661 right now. That's not including what's in the combine, I guess, but. So we'll get quite a lot more corn, and then we'll get quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of wheat, quite a bit of soybeans. So we should be sitting pretty well after harvest once we sell all of our grain. Should be able to buy some more fields, upgrade some equipment, get into beef, whatever. Maybe even get into dairy. Now what are the prices here? So we got the farmers co-op, and we're missing some stuff there. So it looks like farmers co-op is pretty much farmers co-op or Quaker Oats is pretty much where we take stuff. And Quaker Oats really looks the best. Oh, there's a lot of places to sell on here. Kind of sucks that the PDA image misses some stuff. I do like the PDA better in 13 than 15 though uh, because in 15 pretty much all you got is the uh, um, all you got is the map but here in 13 you got your you know basically your everything your map your storage your weather your finances prices everything
Well, I'm kind of glad, I'm sure glad that I don't have a uh, damage mod here in 13 because I'm pretty sure that 1206 would have been totaled already with the way that guy's stopping there. Good grief. So we're just going to go straight across right here because um, this is pretty much where it's a straight shot, so... So being this, doing the same thing as in the last episode, just kind of going straight across and whatever. So we'll back up to be able to pick up this little section. Yeah, that 1206 is definitely getting the job done. That is for sure. <laughs> One little row that we're missing. That kind of sucks. Uh, we can pick it up as we turn around here, though. Uh, I missed one stock. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go over to about, let's say right here, right in here somewhere, and we'll go straight down. Right here, just like this. We'll get this end opened up. So this section is a lot smaller, so it'll go by a lot faster as well. We'll be able to turn around. We won't have to back up because this is where the opening is. So that's nice. And there's no cars coming, so that's good. Do a little more uh, in cab combining for all you in cab fanatics. I know there's a lot of people that uh, enjoy seeing in cab work better more than uh, more than the third person, but I personally like being in cab more. It's a lot more realistic, but sometimes it does not always work uh, as well as you'd hope because sometimes you know like if uh, when spraying you can't see the ends of the sprayer too well then it's you know, a lot more difficult but if you're doing things like combining where you can see the edges of the header you know, as long as you can see the edge of the header anyways uh, then it's then it works pretty well and you can go in first person pretty easily so let's unload the combine since it was at 94%. Wouldn't get to do a whole lot more combining before it filled, so. I like how there's like a bit of a greener grass, taller grass up here. I should find, the, locate the texture for this grass here and put that on my map. I think that light green grass would kind of be a little nicer than... Oh, maybe. It looks like they're the same, it's just the one is a little lighter than the other, and that's about it. Alright, so let's 
check on this guy. No more missed spots yet. Big strips. I'm not worried about these little strips. Those will go... Hopefully go under with the planter. If not, oh well. So I am going to have to test, I don't know if, I think if I, you know, since I've saved the course for that end already, I think if I do the uh, calculate, uh, calculate current field edge path and put this to 9, I think if I overwrite it, then it'll be okay. Then, you know, just save it as north. Um. You know, since I already have that end saved, uh, I'll just have to do it, you know, every time I want to make new courses because, you know, I won't have the, um, you know, that field edge. So, you know, if I want to make a sprayer course or something in the future, then I'll have to, you know, overwrite the field nine path, which is, you know, it's three seconds longer, so that's no big deal. not worried about missing a stock or two here and there we're getting enough corn off this field that it's not making a difference it's not gonna make a difference really it's not like uh, on, uh, Clover Creek starting without doing any soil management then then you need every bit of crop you can get just make our way down here and cut this open There are some buttons programmed on there on my joystick. See this one's view. That one was found. That one was uh, enter, get in and out, whatever. And not long after he finishes that field, this field should be ready for him to rock and roll, so that'll be nice. If uh, yesterday's video was late, this video definitely won't be because uh, this one's being recorded ahead of time. Uh, at the beginning of the day, I thought, you know, I'd have a f maybe even like three videos recorded or something, you know. But I ended up having that issue with, you know, stuff. Like, I tried setting up this save game three times. I had it set up differently. And then, um, went and... You know, would save it, exit, come back, and everything is gone. <clears throat> and here it was a uh, PDA mod that I had. It was the PDA add-on or whatever it's called. Something that added more stuff to the PDA. I think we're going to go over one more row. I'd rather have a little overlap than keep missing stuff. Then I have a little more wiggle room here. We're full again. Okay. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to the thing to see how full we are. Definitely a pretty bland interior in here, but I don't think, 
the real life cab overs. I don't think they're uh, anything too fancy, anyways. So this will fill the truck. Let's just check on this guy again. He's still rocking away. Takes him a moment to get going from a stop, but does pretty well. I'm amazed. This is a pretty neat cultivator, too. It's not the biggest, but it's pretty nice. It'll work pretty well until we, uh, until we can afford to buy a bigger one. Alright, let's get out of here with this load and go dump it. See, this is how my section lines, this is how I want my section lines to look, but they don't turn out this way. I have to mess with them a little more. So this will put us near two, 200,000. Yep, 202.64. So then we'll go unload the rest of the combine. Just get him set back to E. This thing has quite the acceleration in it. There we go. We can get this guy fired up again. Fifteen point six miles an hour. Let's see how much time we got left here. Seven minutes. Wow. Doesn't seem like it's been twenty three minutes already. Oh, I should check on this. Oh wow. Cool. That should be up then. It says about 10 minutes, so... Uh, now when I go back to playing 15, it's going to be awkward because I'll want to hit different keys. You know, for cruise control, I'll want to hit 2 instead of 3. Ah, oh, well. It'll only take like a couple minutes and I'll get back into 15 controls back into how everything works I definitely could not imagine farming this whole map with this com like using this combine and the equipment we have now that would take like weeks just to plant everything weeks just to do anything really I mean these are these are some big fields especially like 5 19 1 2 these fields aren't small that's for sure but it's definitely an American map that's for sure everything's big Now that we cut this field straight, really there's not all that much left. So I think really I won't have to do a whole lot of combining off camera. Because uh, we got maybe like five minutes now left. So we'll be able to finish off 
<clears throat> excuse me, finish off this little chunk and do a couple of passes there. And I'll leave like two, three, four passes at the max on on there for the next episode. And then we'll do that. Dump the truck, move it over to that field, switch headers, move it over to the next field, and get going. Still undecided whether I'm going to do wheat or corn next. Or wheat or beans, I mean. Probably do beans, then we'll do wheat. Kind of doing everything backwards. Because you do wheat first, and then you do beans, I think. Yeah, you do wheat, then you do beans, then you do corn. Or really, corn and beans, kind of. I've seen some people, they do their corn first. Some people do their beans first. <clears throat> but wheat is always first. Especially winter wheat. It's the first thing you do. Now if this corn was just a little darker and still had this same stock texture and really the chop straw texture too, this would make like an awesome texture for like 15 and stuff. Oh, and that guy missed another strip. What in the world? What's going on here, buddy? Seems to be just on the hills too. See, let's get this out of our viewing distance here. Once and just see. No, you really can't tell. I was trying to see if I can tell if he misses stuff. You know, when I'm not looking close and stuff. It's funny how, like, if you drive this yourself. You can't go as fast, but then if you use course play, you can go really fast. Like, it maxes out at 15 there. I tried putting it up to 16 higher, just seeing how high, it, you know, how fast it would go, and 15 is where it maxed out, so. Better get our auger out here. We're gonna be full in a moment. Definitely not gonna reach the end, I don't think. No, we're not. There we go. All filled up now. That'll be good. I wish this camera in this truck was up a l up higher a little bit. Be nice. Huh? Missed a strip there too. Hmm. I don't know what the deal is with that. Strip there. Hmm. It's kind of crazy. Not sure what his deal is.
I have to kind of go diagonal right here. Alright, so, like I said, I'll get uh, this field down to the last two or three, no more than four passes. And then uh, that'll be <clears throat> on Saturday. Uh, so, I'll record it uh, here tomorrow, the day that you're watching this video. I will have already recorded it, uh, hopefully. So, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.